to represent the house in the 12th house district. And also now in the 6th Senate district. Um, so I, I actually followed, my husband was the state rep prior to my serving. Um, so, and um, I decided to run when he was term limited out because I, I was really irritated, actually. Um, not by him. <laughs> um, there were some issues in education uh, that were tangentially affecting our community. And because I had been engaged and involved in the community um, prior to deciding to run, um, I really felt I was the best person who was equipped to address those issues as they continued. Um, because just because someone, a legislator, is termed out doesn't mean the issues affecting that community just suddenly have to disappear. Um, so I had actually sat, I was appointed to uh, um, Domestic Planning, Planning Steering Committee um, for the city of Taylor back in 2003. I've been on a couple of other commissions. I was chair briefly of the Cult Taylor Cultural Arts Commission and also way prior to running um, I was on the PTO at my son's, at the time, his elementary school. And um, so being involved as a community member um, was always very important to me. And that's something that was instilled in me from my parents and my grandparents. And my grandparents um, came to this country from Panama um, back in the 50s. So I'm a second generation American. And they were always very, um, very proud of Panamanians, very proud of West Indians, um, but also very proud and patriotic Americans. I used to go with them um, to go vote. But I, I mean, I couldn't vote, but I remember going with them on election day year after year. And this, now I'm gonna date myself here. But back when you had to pull the curtain behind you to, um, to vote, you'd go to the little booth. It was almost, almost like stepping to a confessional. Um, and I would get, get yelled at and swatted at <coughs> the curtain. So, so I always knew that voting was a thing that you did as an adult. Um, and I couldn't wait to get to register to vote when I turned 18. Um, the first election I voted in, I voted for, for Mike Dukakis. Some of y'all aren't even old enough to remember who that is. Um, but I, I, always, I always remember Damn, being engaged and knowing that that was part of our civic duty um, as, as Americans. I just thought that's what everyone did. And so being able to, to and to tell a little tiny little story, um, when I was growing up, my grandparents were actually friends with Shirley Chisholm. Mm. Oh, wow. um, so to me as a kid, like she was just Miss Shirley, um, but you know, we all know all the amazing things that she's done she, well, during her, her lifetime. Um, I didn't realize that's that impact. Um, and then what it would eventually lead to um, later as a parent, as a professional in the community, as a community member, sort of getting up and seeing, you know, I see that there's a space to to be able to do something and hopefully have a positive impact.